Hello world! So we got some stuff to do today. Bunch of yard debris brush hauling jobs recently because storm came through Florida. Almost was a hurricane and a lot of shit was blown around. Lucky me, we get to do some storm stuff today. Looking for a shovel, cannot find one. Some proof so you guys don't think I'm bullshitting. Job we did yesterday. Mango tree trimmings. Running the dump trailer today though, because unloading yard stuff, especially smaller pieces, sucks. Working alone, because I feel like it, even though this is gonna be hard alone, it's probably gonna take over an hour of straight, nonstop loading, sticks and branches, which kinda sucks. But I need the cardio, and I don't feel like paying someone. And it's not a busy schedule today, only a couple jobs, so I have all the time in the world. Might as well work myself to death. So, let's go. Oh, gosh. This is a lot. Foot comparison. Yeah, I don't think this is one load. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Look at that puppy. But that's a full load for a repeat customer. All debris, nothing crazy heavy. Quick 500 bucks. I'm gonna come back possibly tomorrow because there's a lot of shoveling. That'll be a little bit more expensive because shoveling sucks and weight, obviously. But yeah, look at that thing. That thing's piled up. Oh, gotta tighten this, John. Almost forgot. Oh, yeah. Now off to the dump. And the next job. I just know I look absolutely ridiculous, but here's the load. The landfill action. Let's get it. There it blows, folks. Pretty good load. If you're wondering, I got that shirt drying because it is soaked. Wow. This fit goes hard. Trailer's empty, let's see what that dump fee is. Then we're heading to pick up some flooring and furniture. And then Pops just called from a contracting job. He said he needs me to run a load for him. I don't really charge him anything. Half the time he doesn't even pay me. So we're gonna wrap the day up with that. This thing is soaked, hopefully it's dry. All right. Oh, just tossing it. Get out of podcast running, guys, pause. Hey, 26 bones, not bad. Hopefully that focuses. I think you see that, yep. $26. Now we are off to Seminole, which is about 25 minutes from here. Close to my house actually, but I think we're gonna have to come all the way back here to empty the trailer because we need it empty. Let's go help Pops out with one of his jobs. What do you guys think about these glasses? Full UV protection. I know they're a little much. I got them for jogging because they have the grippers on the face. So when I'm running, they don't fall off, but they were only $5. Also wanted to ask who's going to the Junk Expo in California. Definitely gonna be popping out there. Just have to buy the plane ticket. I already have the ticket to get in. I think that's gonna be a good one. I'm excited to see what everyone has to say. I know the junk world market's always changing. Marketing's always changing. And recently I have been wanting to capitalize on my B2B because residential junk removal is just so hard to scale because you constantly have to market for it and pay for marketing. And if I could close some B2B contracts, that would be ideal. Uh, I'm gonna be posting some videos on that. I think I'm really gonna do some boots on the ground marketing for B2B. Maybe do the whole gift bag, hoorah. Really just put myself out there because I live in a super dense populated area with 
tons of apartment buildings, tons of real estate offices, condos, vacation rentals. There's a ton of commercial work around here that I could probably be doing. And I'm sure there's already someone doing a lot of it or multiple companies doing a lot of it and I need to kick them out of the way. I need more work! But I'm gonna shut up, whole lot of yapping, not a whole lot of money making, so we're getting to the next job. See you there. You already know I had to hit a little Wawa run. Wanna put y'all on this. Protein bar, barbell, protein bar, cookies and cream. This thing is incredible. If you like these flavors in general and you're a big protein person, try this brand. They don't sponsor me or anything, I wish, but it actually tastes like a candy bar, so good. All right, so what we're working with, we got some floor in there. Pretty sure all this junk's going. Some stuff out here, got all that flooring. And then possibly that couch. Gotta see what all's going. Gotta make a phone call. Some more flooring. Sheesh! It's gonna take a minute. Alone for show. Sure. Alright, well, let's get it. Place is empty. That took forever. Didn't know that couch was a sleeper sofa. That was tough getting out by myself. A lot of wood flooring though. Not a bad load. Alright, let's go. Back at the dump. Got the shirt at the window dry cleaner. Getting that thing aired out because it's completely soaked again. And we are emptying the load. All right, not a bad load. Oh! Good enough. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap on today's Den Life slash vlog. Last job was just help my dad out. I'm not gonna charge him my normal prices. So there was really no point in showing that load. It was just some drywall and sinks and a little bit of flooring. But like I was saying earlier in the video, I need to really work on my commercial clients. Cause I need that repeat work. This residential stuff, paying for marketing is getting so unrealistic nowadays. I was actually talking to another company in my area that is a little bit even bigger than me and they're saying the same thing. It's just this area is getting absolutely outrageous to try to stay alone just running off residential work. Well, stay tuned for the next video. It might be me doing some in-person sales slash door knocking slash walking and building. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm thinking about joining a Chambers of Commerce group. I hope I'm saying that right. I need to get into BNI. It's just all the good BNIs around here or within a 30 minute drive from me have people in them that I can't join because they're either hauler or dumpster rental people which sucks because I have some good groups around here with like 60 plus members and all the good ones have a junk hauler or dumpster rental guy in it super annoying but it is whatever we're gonna push on save up that money and hopefully one day get the hell out of this junk real business and into real estate because that is the end goal hopefully we can scale it to a million dollars before then i'm off do some boxing i got training here started boxing a little over a month ago like it a lot super hard super intense get to punch people so it's pretty fun besides the point if you enjoyed like subscribe let me know you guys want to see the next video. It's probably going to be, like I said, walking in, trying to close commercial contracts. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.